How do we simplify this expression? Just remember your rules for exponents. I'm going to go ahead and work with these constant bases. In other words, this 6 to the negative 1 power in the numerator, if I move it to the denominator, it becomes a 6 raised to a positive power of 1. And this 3 to the negative 2 power in the denominator, if I move it to the numerator, it becomes 3 raised to a positive 2 power. And now let's work with our variables. You can do the same thing with your variables if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and use the quotient rule. I've got an a squared in the numerator and an a to the negative 5 in the denominator. So this will be that like base a raised to a power of numerator exponent minus denominator exponent. And then notice I have some other common bases. This is b raised to a power of numerator exponent minus denominator exponent. Let's see what we have. Uh, 3 squared is 9, and then 6 to the 1 is 6. This a I have to a power of 2 minus a negative 5, so that's 2 plus 5 or 7. And then b is to a power of negative 3 minus 2, and that is negative 5. So let's finish simplifying. Notice 9 and 6 have a common factor of 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And remember, we want to write with no negative exponents. So I'll go ahead and write my 3 in the numerator, my 2 in the denominator, this a to the 7th I'll leave in the numerator, and this b to the negative 5, since I want to write it with a positive exponent, I'll move it to the denominator as a b to the 5th. I can simplify no further. These are unlike bases, so I cannot combine them, and I have simplified.